good afternoon, good evening. Um, uh, been a lovely day here. I don't know how it's been where you are. Um, so this is a pay application. Uh, some of you may recall the Urban Splash uh, original application. Um, my colleague Kate Poyser is dealing with it simply because I'm dealing with phase 2B and phase 3 and uh, various um, uh, other kind of applications as well and planning conditions. Um, so um, my colleague, as I say, Kate Poyser is uh, dealing with the uh, application submission, but I am aware of it and it is something I've had involvement in in pre-app uh, stages. So I am uh, highlighting this. This is the pl current planning reference. I can see online that there have been no, so far, uh, public comments, um, but um, let me take you hopefully through this. There we go. What's going on? Sean, can you move the, um, it's not allowing me to, there we go. So the approved scheme uh, was approved um, February, 2020. Um, and uh, it came, uh, let's see, it came through. Um, sorry. I'm just trying to, John, can you move on to the next screen? Next one. Uh, so this is the old site layout. You can see the age-restricted accommodation on the right-hand side uh, and the peninsula, uh, which is going up as we speak. Um, and these are the townhouses. Uh, the two shower homes are uh, roughly here on uh, the left-hand, uh, on the left-hand side uh, when the cursor is. Uh, the marketing suite, just so people are aware, is roughly in this location here. Um, so, sorry, John. Oh, there we go, that worked. Um, these are some of the old images. This is what was approved. Um, again, a very con as, as you will have come to see on the uh, townhouse uh, and the peninsula scheme, it's a very contemporary scheme, but this was what was approved. Uh, these are the elevations, just so you can see and compare and contrast. Um, but it became clear during the uh, during the um, uh, post planning kind of discussions on conditions and and these kind of aspects with housing colleagues that there were a few kind of issues that uh, needed to be resolved. Um, so um, the same it's still the same number of apartments and car parking. It's still the same extent of the site for the uh, the actual old person homes. There's still a central courtyard uh, being proposed. It continues links into the Northern Greenway and it's still designed for the over 55s and is part of the affordable housing offer. And there also still, we will still include, continue to include uh, the ecological enhancements, which include birds, bats, uh, boxes, and a few other kind of aspects. So it looks a bit different to uh, what it did. Uh, so you can see that the, the car parking, which was previously under Croft and under the building, is now um, a surface level car park. We've introduced a, uh, the cycle where uh, parking has moved from around about this location to here, and a walled garden has been uh, introduced for, this will be for residents. Um, and this is the central courtyard, which you can see is flipped through 90 degrees uh, and um, various other kind of smaller kind of things. So this is what it will look like now. These are all the plans that are on the uh, website. So if you're wondering what all these red lines uh, mean, they are generally uh, relating to details um, relating to what materials are going to be used and, uh, and uh, what colors and, and materials are being proposed. Um, you can see here there are two um, uh, covered um, terraces and an open terrace um, uh, and this is these this kind of uh, hazy uh, is, a, is a green wall. Um, I'll come to some better images of that in terms of what they uh, look like. This is obviously two-dimensional, three-dimensional trying to be two-dimensional and sometimes that can be quite tricky um, uh, and this will be the primary entrance uh, with housing colleague uh, with communal facilities uh, in on the ground floor, uh, and the wall garden uh, is is here. Um, so 
This is a kind of a 3D image of, of the actual proposal. So again, a communal terrace uh, being proposed, covered uh, area here, and again, a kind of a covered area here. I, I lovingly call this, this, this area here the gin terrace. Um, I'm not saying people go out there drinking gin in the summer, but it overlooks the, the lakes and the schools and has some fantastic views of, across that. So, um, uh, you know, I think that would be a very interesting space uh, for those. You can see here that there's still, uh, these are uh, solar panels and PV um, uh, solar panels. Um, so we're using solar um, aspects. Uh, there's the uh, cycle store. And again, uh, there's a, an element of disabled parking and also electric charging being proposed uh, within the uh, car parking. And as you can see here, it's still 60 apartments. Um, M43 uh, just means it's highly, it, it's more accessible. Uh, M42 is the, is the standard um, approach to house building. M43 just means it's more uh, accessible for disabled persons. Um, so again, a, uh, an important part of that. Um, internally, the courtyard has uh, some interesting elements. Um, so as well as obviously having the communal areas, um, each uh, apartment will have a porch. Uh, and you can see here from the diagrams that uh, people will be able to sit out on the front uh, just to have a look at uh, and, and if they don't want to venture out too far from their flat, they, but want some fresh air, they can sit down at the, at the front uh, of their apartment. Um, and this again, is there's some arrows here just detailing um, what materials are being proposed. Um, as I say, it's, it, these are all images that are publicly available on the website uh, and you're able to, uh, to view these uh, if you want. Uh, this is the CGI image of, of the proposal. Uh, as I say, it looks uh, quite interesting. Um, and uh, as I say, the, um, the wall garden for the residents there being shown there and the courtyards, the gin terrace as I call it, as I say and uh, the various other kind of uh, courtyards um, being proposed. The entrance is here. This uh, area here, so that is the is Stirling Road. Um, uh, and uh, this is uh, obviously the, the schools um, in effect. And um, this is looking the other way and I referred to the, uh, the green wall, so to speak, or the green um, uh, green aspects. So again, again this is uh, kind of uh, aspects um, uh, to uh, to use that. Um, in, and again, some of the gardens on the ground floor will also have uh, outdoor patio areas uh, along those kind of lines. Um, there are more images, as I say, in the design and access statement. But uh, so if you want to have a, a look at these kind of aspects in more detail, then please feel free. Um, and so it will go to plan committee because we are the delivery partner and it's part of the affordable housing offer. And the comments are due, uh, I think the sign notice has only just gone up, but uh, the comments are due by the 30th of July, according to the system that I, I've got. So I think the site notice may have just gone up uh, by colleagues. So you still got a couple of weeks to have a look at everything. That is the planning reference if you want to type it in, uh, 21 forward slash 02585 forward slash section 73. Now there are other plans on there and some of those relate to the fact that what we are varying is the plans list condition. And so some of the plans, there needed to be duplication of, of those plans. Um, I think that that's it. I'll, I'll happily take, um, any questions? I can see a couple have come in, Sarah. Yes, they have. So um, one is asking, um, why do some flats get a garden and some don't? Uh, generally, the, most have uh, most of the flats will have uh, private amenity space. Um, it's just, as I say, it's how it's designed. Uh, obviously, the upper floors will have different to the ones on the ground floor. Um, but that has been part of the discussion as to the quality of the space and, and, and those kind of aspects. Um, but yes, that has, um, uh, that is one of 
the reason why it's, it basically it's a design aspect but also these come from the factory as well so it's not a case of these are modular built so they're very environmentally uh, insulated Okay, um, and then a question on uh, making use of the rooftop gardens, um, so rooftops rather to have gardens or for eco reasons, so either solar panel or to provide habitats and carbon offsetting, including plants. Yeah, so there are, uh, as I showed on the uh, on the layout on, on the 3D and if I go up, I don't know whether I can go up, um, but on the previous slide, um, you could see there there were loads of solar panels on the roofs and that again is part of it uh, and by building in um so there you go you'd see solar these the solar panels um so there are very few free uh roof spaces so to speak um but again this is um uh part of that aspect in, in effect is is um yeah, there will be availability and that's why, why there is a roof terrace in there that was part of our discussion um, that we're using all the roof space as much as we can okay um and if we could cover the age why we have got a block of age restricted housing and it's not just for, for anyone i don't know if it's a question for you or for peter campbell to come in on so Oh, uh, the the reason it's 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 an over fifty five, uh, so it's a uh, it's what we call age restricted. So it's a uh, it's part of the affordable housing offer, and it's part of the uh, the what looking at um, multi generational aspects. But obviously, the rest of there will be flats and houses as part of the rest of the urban splash um, as well. So it's not just about this is designed specifically for. Uh, persons over age over 55 who might want to downsize from their houses uh, and it's designed to be as, as I say a, li a linked community in itself um, so that's that's why um, there thank you um, and uh, a question uh, from Dan the chair of Long Santa Parish Council uh, noting that in part of the submission there's revised copies of many of the original statements in respect of ecology surface and foul water can you talk about the key changes in these areas, especially anything to do with the ongoing hydrology investigation? So obviously, uh, in respect of uh, the, the changes, is it's basically uh, making sure that the uh, there's no changes to the bat and bird boxes provision. There will still be those in, in there. So it's basically making sure those are all provided. So the ecology benefits are continued. Uh, there's no significant changes in to uh, to those, what we just needed to do is uh, is as part of the that of the submission is is have all that data that we had and all those supporting documents updated to reflect uh, that when we talk about the revised design that we talk about uh, that the most the right design and the right plans. So all the plan references will be updated, uh, and for example, where there's been a change in story heights um that, then that that's been done you will also see there have been obviously new tree planting as well so those will have been factored into the ecology uh, aspects and obviously also the green wall um so that's that's what we've done it is in effect okay great thank you um so i think um oh there's a, another question is there scope for the development to be extended in the future uh, no, this is a per, uh, this purpose built. So unless uh, I'm not aware there's any scope for it to be extended in the future, but um, as I say, um, it is a modular build. Uh, so uh, that will be down to um, uh, those those aspects. Yeah. So might just to say that um, phase two has uh, effectively been been parcelled up. So this is part of the urban splash parcel. Um, and obviously we've got keep note, which is the next parcel and there will be additional ones coming coming uh, on. So there will be there are delineated areas of which there is one. Um, how many parking spaces are there? Uh, same as originally. Um, I'll just double check. I think you put 50 percent in. Did you, I think I saw yeah, it's 30, 30 car parking spaces. So one for every other uh, property. 